Now let's continue by creating the pavement on the floor plan view. Switch to zero ground floor plan. If you would like to skip to the next step, you can apply the pavement slab favorite from the Lesson 3 Favorites folder. Open the slab default settings dialog and make the following changes. Set zero ground floor as the home story. Offset to home story to minus 50. Choose the exterior pavement as composite. Push the override top and override edge buttons and choose the pavement brick moss surface. Don't override for the bottom surface. Choose Site and Landscape Terrain as Layer. Set the tags to Non-Load Bearing Element to Exterior. Please note that in ARCHICAD, each structural element can be classified according to its role in the building. Classifications, for example, let us create ceilings or pavements using the slab tool. The element's available properties, such as price, construction type, or serial number, also depend on its classification. Properties mapping in multidiscipline data exchange processes are also based on classification information. ARCHICAD comes with the default classification system right out of the box, but depending on the way you work and your local standards, you can create and use different or additional classification systems. So, let's select Site Geometry for this element and click OK to close the dialog. Right-click on the standard toolbar and choose Drafting Aids. In the Drafting Aids palette, select the Offset Constraint command. Click on any external corner of the walls, move the cursor to the opposite corner, and make one more click. Then move the cursor outside the building to set the offset direction. Type 2000, press Enter, and close the Drafting Aids palette. Select the pavement with Shift plus click. Hover the cursor over its left edge and click on it to display the pet palette. Select the Insert New Node command. Hold down the Shift key to limit the cursor movement to a vertical direction and click the upper left inside corner of the walls. Click on the new upper segment edge and in the pet palette select the Offset Edge command and click on the left edge of the mesh. In the same way, offset the top pavement upwards by 10,000 millimeters. Hit Escape to deselect the element. Open the 3D window to see the result. Now we need a hole in the area of the building. Select the pavement slab. With the slab tool active, click on any edge of the pavement and activate the Subtract from Polygon Pet Palette command. Click on the outer corners on the top of the exterior walls. Once you pick a point on top of the wall, it automatically gets projected to the level of the pavement slab, and when you select a second point, it creates a hole in it. Finally, deselect the slab.